Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to get the full native resolution and refresh rate when using ultra-wide monitors with the new Apple Silicon-based Macs. Here I'm using the new M1-based MacBook Air connected to an LG ultra-wide display using the HDMI port on a USB-C hub. When connecting the display, the image pops up after a second or two, and although it's displaying in the native resolution of 2560 by 1080 the refresh rate is fixed at 60Hz, and it's greyed out so it can't be changed, even though this monitor supports a refresh rate of 75Hz. To get the full resolution and the maximum refresh rate, there are a couple of steps. First, on the monitor, you need to turn on FreeSync. On this monitor, that option is found in the picture menu under Game Adjust. After turning FreeSync on, you need to either unplug the monitor from your Mac and plug it back in again, or turn the monitor off and turn it back on. Once the image reappears, you should find that it's now running at the correct refresh rate, in this case 75Hz, but the display now defaults to a low resolution of 1344x568, and there are no resolutions above 1920x1080 available under the scaled resolutions. What you need to do is set the resolution to default for display and then hold down the option key while clicking on scaled. This will list all of the resolutions that the monitor supports and you should now find that you're able to select 2560x1080 while still maintaining the 75Hz refresh rate. My Intel Mac Mini and 2016 12-inch MacBook both default to this full resolution and refresh rate automatically but it seems that on the new M1 Max you need to select it manually. Luckily you only need to do this once. Once you've chosen the resolution and the refresh rate, it will keep using them afterwards whenever the monitor is reconnected. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.